So one of the best things about the latest Star Citizen update is this beautiful Drake Vulture. It's a salvage ship and basically what it does, it allows you to collect and salvage broken down, blown up uh, vehicles in Star Citizen. But it has a bigger brother that has been in the game for quite some time. It's called the Reclaimer. It's one of the biggest, ship, biggest ships in the game. It's also a salvage ship. So we're going to be taking a look today. So yeah, kick back, relax, uh, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy this video, and uh, let's go and collect this big behemoth that is the Reclaimer. Oh, by the way, if you want to see some small ship salvage here in the old uh, Drake Vulture, uh, I did do a video on it not too long ago, so uh, I'll put a connotation if you want to go and watch that. But here we are, Grim Hex. Uh, I'm actually going to claim the ship at this destination because because it's such a big ship, it takes a little while to get out of atmosphere. I hear it's better, um, but because it's so big and so heavy, to kind of take off from a planet is some serious, serious uh, boosting action. But um, yeah, let's get ourselves a little parking spot here and uh, just park up a little bit, which would be cool. Oh man, this is so awesome. Look at this. <laughs> it looks so good. It really does. Ooh -wee. Okay, landing. Nice. Oh, that's so satisfying. I cannot believe how cool this game still is to me. I absolutely love it. Okay, so Reclaimer. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a while to arrive, but don't worry, I'll edit out the video. We can also, by the way, we can expedite it. So it only takes 10 minutes. But, uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about is this camera thing. So, I've been making videos where I kind of show this and another camera angle, and uh, it's like the whole time. But, I kind of like the immersion of Star Citizen, and rather than doing both, uh, sorry, I kind of ruined it. Rather than doing one or the other, like this, and then this, and then, you know, third camera angle, I'm actually going to do this, this, and this so I'm actually just gonna just have a portion of the video uh, without any face cam uh, for the longer segments that don't really need my face but then when I really want to explain something to you that's why I'm here you know that that's when that makes sense anyway let's get back into it oh it's gonna be sweet all right hangar 13 oh man if you've not seen this beast of a ship before, it is going to blow freaking minds, because it is quite colossal. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> here is the Reclaimer, an absolute tank of a ship. It's so big, and up until this point, it's kind of been useless, quite honestly. It hasn't really had um, any use, other than it's a freaking huge ship and it looks awesome and you can kind of test it out fly it. Um, but the whole purpose of the ship is salvage and we're only now just starting to see salvaging come into the game. Now I should say, <laughs> this is really kind of, it, it's technically meant to be a multi-role ship task thing with the Reclaimer, but you know, I thought it would be fun to see if you can do it solo. So we're going to do that. But yeah, you can see we've got the claw here. It's meant to have tractor beams at some point. But you can start to see, I think, these here are the salvaging lasers that you'll be able to use to um, do some stuff. Uh, do some salvage. Uh, right, how do I get in? It's here, isn't it? Here we go, elevator. So cool. Yeah, little elevator comes down. It, honestly... Honestly, this ship is cool. I made a video on this way back when, and my initial impressions were like, <laughs> I watched that video back recently, and it's quite, it's charming. It's quite charming. Wait, am I in the thing? It's very claustrophobic. Okay, we're good. All right, so the main deck. I love how uh, everything, by the way, is like filthy dirty. This thing looks so industrial, it's amazing. Um, but this is not in use yet, but this is meant to, at some point, kind of eat everything up and kind of get salvaged that way and um, but right now we've only got the salvage turrets and I believe they are these two things here let's try it salvage operator seat yeah we'll do that when we get out 
Um, unfortunately, this is going to be quite the task because what I'm going to have to do, fly the ship close to a salvage target and then I'm going to have to get into the laser seat to salvage and then after a while, I'm going to have to get out of the salvage ship, go all the way down to the cargo bay, move stuff out of the way so I can then salvage a bit more so I can... We're going to make do and um, I'm just very excited because this ship now has a soul and, um, you know, a purpose, which is awesome. But let's go find some salvage. Man, I forget how cool the interior of the ship is. Right, let's turn it on. It looks different. It might be different. Honestly, I can't fully remember. I don't fly the ship very often. Um, <laughs> so it may be different. It may not be. I quite honestly couldn't tell you. All right, go into VTOL mode. There we go. But look at this thing. It is quite awesome. The scale of it. We've got some really nice lights as well. <laughs> Blinding. Yeah, it's an awesome ship. But I cannot wait until I can start grabbing stuff with the claw and like munching it. That is going to be freaking sweet. Right, bit of lift off here. So yeah, claiming it at Grim Hex rather than a planet probably saved me like 10, 15 minutes. Because this thing is uh, it's pretty heavy. And uh, trying to take off in atmosphere is no easy task. All right, so landing gear. Oh my word, that is amazing. VTOL. Nice. So now everything turns to the side. And now we have a fully mobile uh, reclaimer. So that's cool. And I've already picked up some salvage somewhere, but I'm going to ignore that for now. And uh, we're going to go find a quiet spot to do our work, uh, which should be quite nice. But holy, this thing feels like weighty. You know, you feel like you're flying an absolute beast. Hang on, let me just break a second. Yeah, look at this. So this ship is so big. Um, and this is one of the things I love about this game is everything is real. There's no like fakery in this game. I mean, there is some probably, but like. That's the living quarters just there. This window, that's the captain's desk. Um, and I think on the other side, we've got crew quarters, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look. And I just love the fact that you can see all this stuff. And if I had crewmates and things, I could spy on them and make sure they're doing as they're told. Yeah, we've got crew quarters. But it's just awesome. It's like an amazing thing. Right, so let's uh... <laughs> go on a little trek and uh, find a little spot. Ping around. Oh, hello. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, we got ourselves some salvage. Sweet. Awesome. I'm not sure how big it is. Or how much salvage. What is it? I can't really see. The light is so blinding. Yeah, it looks pretty big. Okay. Well, it's a start, isn't it? So let's get ourselves into position here. I mean, if you compare it to the size of the ship, it's like not big at all, but it's gonna be good for our first piece. So I'm gonna try and line this up as best as possible. There we go. All right, are we good? I think we're good. Nice. And in fact, actually, let me see if I can get like straight on that front bit there. Cool. All right. Now we're going to exit the seat. I've not actually done this in this machine, so <laughs> we might have to do a couple of uh, position changes here. So is it, are they both? Yeah, they're both salvaging seats. Okay, cool. Enter salvaging seat. There we go. Nice. And then we're going to hit the power button. Ah, oh, this is so cool. And then... We're going to hit the... Oh, I don't know. There must be a button to, like, go into the view. Here we go. Remote turret. Bingo. Oh, that's so cool. And here we go. We're salvaging. Oh, my word. It's kind of... Okay, so it's a different layout than the other one. Oh, it's so satisfying. Can I see it from the outside? Yeah, kind of. Look at that. So I'm not going to be picking up any salvage right now, because I can't move it. Oh, maybe I can move it. Can I move it while I'm... No. So I can't move it right now, because I'm in this view. But you can see the little thing on the left, and it kind of sucks it all on the right there. That's so neat. 
And it is such a, like, a therapeutic game loop, I think. It's one of the most therapeutic out, out of all the game loops. We've got two um, suckers. One of them seems to be bigger than the other. And it's pretty good, because, like, you can see here on the left, we've got, um, you know, how much material. So, stay in one spot. You can see it goes down from 100 down to zero, and then you're not sucking up any salvage anymore. And then you have the SCU boxes. You have the extraction rate. Actually, does it change the extraction rate here? Ah, filler station obstructed. No! Okay. So now, I'm going to have to go and move <laughs> some stuff. So let's go and work out that. So we get out. Usually, you'd have someone in the back doing all this, right? So you'd have the pilot there. I'd be, you know, sat waiting. And now we must uh, go all the way. <laughs> I've not checked it out yet to the new area where we're going to be moving salvage about. So this is going to be interesting. I think it's going to be all the way at the back. We'll find out. Obviously, I got my tractor beam, which is now mandatory for doing tasks like this. We go through here. What? Da -da -da -da. Open. So remember that window we looked through earlier? We're just walking through that now. That's cool. All the way to the back. And cool elevator. Hopefully, it's working. Sometimes this elevator can be a little bit skew -if. Um, sal salvage hold. Okay, I think that's the first place we need to go. Not 100%. Might do multiple trips here, but we'll work it out. But yeah, <laughs> we didn't do much salvage before I've had to move it. So you definitely want crewmates here. Okay, I don't think this is where we want to be. Because I can't see any sal... I think we need to go up a level. Right, so... Oh, that's cool. Okay, so now you've got these two machines. Very similar to the ones that we saw... Do they, have we added... No, okay. In the Vulture. And basically now, that will... We'll go and put that down in the cargo thing. <laughs> so you could, you know, if you wanted to, load it up here. Um, you know, if you were doing it solo as well. Um, can I just jump down here? Let's make our lives easier. There we go. So, you'll see, I think, we should start to see a grid appear at some point. Is there a grid? No grids. Unless the grid's on the upper level now. I think I read somewhere that maybe they've made temporary changes. So, where are the grid spots? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the grid I was talking about. So, oh, this is so cool. So, you know, that's one box. So, we filled up one box. <laughs> and there is the box, you know. So, you can imagine the amount of cargo you could fill up in this place. And uh, it's pretty neat. Alright, so let's just make sure we got everything. Uh, oh, okay, I did do it. Okay. So, we technically made two. Alright, my bad, my bad. I got that wrong. Yeah, so it naturally ejects one. I figured you could get two along here, but I guess not. So now, there we go. We move that over here. And it should just go next to it. If I kind of wanted to put it on top, but it's a really good system, though. There we go. Two salvage things. Nice. <laughs> now we go back. <laughs> yeah, as I said, uh, this is <laughs> this is not really designed for the solo life. Um, really, I would recommend doing this uh, with a crew. At least with two people. Minimum two. Three if you want to be efficient, and four if you just want to be like crazy, you know, and everyone has their own job. But I kind of love the fact that we've got a bit of multi-crew gameplay and stuff. So you can see, oh yeah, that's so cool. So that's what we've done so far. I guess if you are running this solo, you could do one seat and then swap over into the other seat and then move four boxes rather than two. Um, so it's better than the Vulture in that respect. Solo. Um... But yeah, man, it is satisfying. It's really quick, though. I kind of prefer the trawler scraper, though. Seems to be a bigger sucker.
But the really cool thing you can do with the mouse thing is you can just have it, like, just off the center. So it's moving. <laughs> so it's kind of moving all by itself. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Look at that. I'm not touching anything right now. I'm just watching. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So there we go. We've suckered all of that. <sighs> so you can you can imagine like the multi crew, you know, you got the pilot seat here as well. Man, that looks so small before. It really did. Look at <laughs> it looks so small. Well, it's just cool. I like I love I love it. It's it's cool. And I love the fact that you could probably have a whole little squad, you know. And you could not go back for weeks and weeks and weeks and, um, you know, have a big payout at the end of the month. You could bring supplies and, you know, that just sounds really cool, doesn't it? it? Does to me anyway. But look at that. Beautiful. There we go. So, <laughs> I've filled up both filler stations now. Let's go and uh, move them and uh, <laughs> do the loop. Okay, so weird. One of them fell out. I was I assumed that you would be able to stack these on top of each other. Maybe I'm missing something here and I'm not getting the prompt. I don't know. Maybe if it's a bit further in. Hmm. Nope. Okay. I don't know. Do do do. Right. Uh, eject. I love the little yellow flashing light. It's like. Do -do 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 -do. It's very cool. Give me the salvage. Nice. There we go. And last but not least, this little guy. So there we go. That is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bits of salvage on one scan find. Um, obviously, we've got a lot more room, so, you know, if you had people doing this all day, that could be really, really cool. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more Star Citizen, make sure you subscribe. There's plenty more in this update for me to check out, so if you're interested, click the subscribe button. And if you haven't already, check out this video. It was pretty good. Uh, you should totally watch it. Anyway, see you in that video. Take care. Bye-bye.